Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos published in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others around the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Mind segment, we analyzed voice disorder, focusing on its nature, characteristics, types, who are affected by it and its prevalence. In this episode, we take up for our consideration the causes, diagnosis and treatment of voice disorder. Causes of voice disorder. In some cases, the cause of a voice disorder is not known. However, a number of factors may contribute to the origin and development of voice disorders. Some of these factors are the following. First, growths. The growth of an extra tissue on the vocal cords can prevent the vocal cords from functioning normally. These growths can include fluid-filled sacs called cysts, wart-like lumps called papilloma, and callus-like bumps called nodules. Besides, there may be patches of damaged tissue called lesions or areas of scar tissue. In some people, a band of tissue called a web can grow between vocal cords. Other growths include a small area of chronic inflammation called a granuloma and small blisters called polyps. These different types of growths can be caused by illness, injury, cancer or vocal abuse. Second, inflammation or swelling of the vocal cords. This can be caused by surgery, respiratory illness, sinus infection or allergies, GERD, that is acid reflux from intestines, some medicines, exposure to certain chemicals, smoking, alcohol abuse and vocal abuse. Third, nerve problem. It consists in certain medical conditions affecting the nerves that control vocal cords. This can include multiple cellarosis, Parkinson's disease, Huntington disease, throat cancer, throat dehydration and the like. Nerve injury can also be caused by surgery or laryngitis that is chronic inflammation of the voice box. Fourth, hormone disorders. Disorders affecting thyroid hormone, female and male hormone and growth hormones can cause voice disorders. Fifth, aging. As persons get older, the quality of their voice can diminish, leading to voice disorders. Sixth, misuse of voice. Vocal cords can be stressed by letting too much tension while speaking, which can cause problems in the throat muscles leading to a voice disorder. Similarly, vocal abuse can also cause voice disorder. Vocal abuse is anything that strains or harms vocal cords. Some examples of vocal abuse include talking too much, shouting, coughing, smoking and constant clearing of the throat. Consequences of vocal abuse include calluses or blisters called nodules and polyps developing in the vocal cords, rupture of the vocal cords, hemorrhage of the vocal cords, paralysis of the vocal cords and complete loss of voice. If you have a voice change or other symptoms such as throat irritation, pain swallowing, feeling that you have a lump in the vocal cords which lasts for a few weeks, your medical doctor may ask you to consult an ENT specialist or an otolaryngologist. He will create a case history of your throat problem in the light of his interview with you, his examination of your vocal cords and voice box and the symptoms you manifest. In the process, he also may give you a number of tests. They may include first laryngoscopy. This test lets the specialist view your throat. Laryngoscopy can be direct or indirect. 
With the indirect laryngoscopy, the otolaryngologist holds a small mirror at the back of your throat and shines a light on it, which provides him an indirect view of your throat. With the direct or fiber optic laryngoscopy, a thin lighted camera called laryngoscope is put through your nose into your throat so that the specialist could have a direct view of your throat on the computer monitor. Second, laryngeal electromyography. This test measures electrical activity in the muscles of the throat. A thin needle is put into some of the neck muscles while electrodes send signals from the muscles to the computer which can show nerve problems in the throat. Third, stroboscopy. This test uses a strobe light, a video camera and a computer to see how the vocal cords are vibrating while you are speaking. It can measure anything unusual in the sound the vocal cords make. Fourth, imaging tests. They include x-rays and MRI scans and can show growths or other tissue problems in the throat. Fifth, biopsy. During the above tests, the specialist may perform a biopsy by taking samples of the nodules, polyps or cysts so as to examine them under a microscope to check for diseases such as cancer. With the help of the case history and the test results, the ondolaryngologist may create a customized treatment plan specific to a particular patient with a voice disorder. Treatment of voice disorder. Though some voice disorders are preventable, you can reduce the risk of being affected by them seriously by taking care of your voice. It calls for avoiding smoking, drugs or alcohol, drinking plenty of water to keep your vocal cords hydrated and by resting the voice frequently. If you have an occupation that requires a lot of speaking, hence the prognosis and long-term outlook is positive. As voice disorders associated with overuse or acute illness are usually temporary and do not cause permanent damage to the voice, and most people with complex voice disorders can overcome their voice challenges with the right treatment. Depending on your diagnosis and what causes the specific type of voice disorder you are suffering from, an otolaryngologist may suggest one or more of the following treatment plans. First, lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes can help reduce or stop symptoms in case of short-term voice disorders such as hoarseness and laryngitis. This calls for talking as little as possible, avoid shouting, yelling, singing or straining your vocal cords for several days and keeping them hydrated. Exercises to relax the vocal cords and muscles around them can also help. Warming up your vocal cords before extensive periods of speaking can prevent its unwanted straining. Similarly, quitting smoking and avoiding alcohol can bring voice health. Second, speech therapy. People with complex voice disorders may need speech therapy, which includes techniques and exercises to regulate your voice and breathing so as to communicate more clearly. A few examples are accent method. It consists in learning to coordinate breathing and speaking while keeping vocal cord muscles relaxed. Auditory masking that involves speaking aloud while wearing headphones that play loud noise in the background, teaching you to amplify your voice. And conversation training therapy, which consists in learning to speak using conversations that are relevant to you and understanding the meanings of gestures and facial expressions. Third, medications. Voice disorders that are caused by any specific medical condition, such as GERD, thyroid hormone problem, Male or female hormone problems can be effectively treated by taking appropriate medications prescribed by a medical doctor. Fourth, injections. Throat muscle spasms and 
unusual movements of vocal cords and voice box such as spasmodic dysphonia can be treated with appropriate injections similarly injecting body fat or man made collagen either through mouth or skin on the neck can add bulk to the paralyzed or weak vocal cords this can help the vocal cords close or open better fifth surgery surgical procedures such as micro surgery and laser surgery are used to remove tissue growths from any organs of speech surgery allows the removal of the growths while leaving intact the most underlying tissues understanding the causes of voice disorder getting diagnosis on time and following the specific treatment plan suggested for you by the otolaryngologist on a regular basis you can manage your voice disorder reasonably well in the next episode we will begin our analysis of resonance disorder in detail thank you for watching this video stay blessed until we see you again with another video